If you're just joining us, good morning. Here are the eight things you need to know today. Right now in Oxford County, police are searching for this man, Max Noble, who escaped from a police cruiser in handcuffs. Police say he's desperate and they're warning the public to stay away. He was last seen wearing a blue jacket, a hoodie, gray sweatpants, and socks, no shoes. And over in Gray, another man hut set to resume this morning for a juvenile who allegedly threatened someone with a knife at a home on Mayall Road, then took off into the woods. Even though the suspect is on the loose, officials in this case say the public is not in danger. The young man is described as six feet tall, wearing brown pants and a gray shirt with a blue hat with the letter B on it. Christina Lowe will learn her fate in court this morning. She was convicted back in May for the deadly 2012 crash in West Paris. WMTW News 8's Morgan Sturdivant is in the studio this morning to tell us what prosecutors and defense attorneys are asking for in this case. Good morning, Morgan. Good morning, Megan. In May, a jury came back with a verdict in only five and a half hours. Christina Lowe was found guilty of two counts of manslaughter and one count of leaving the scene of an accident for that deadly crash in January of 2012. 16 year old Rebecca Mason and 19 year old Logan Dam were killed in the crash. Her defense attorneys are asking the judge for community service instead of jail time so she can support her one year old daughter, whose father is currently deployed overseas. The defense would rather she spoke to students about the dangers of distracted. Driving. Prosecutors are asking the judge for five years behind bars. The sentencing is scheduled for 9 a.m. this morning at the Oxford County Superior Courthouse. Of course, we'll keep you posted on our News 8 mobile app and online. We'll also have reports tonight on News 8 at 5 and 6. In the studio this morning, Morgan Sturdivant, WMTW News 8. All right, Morgan, thank you so much. And the owners of Lost Valley Ski Area in Auburn plan to hold a press conference today to discuss the future of the popular spot. The management team has been struggling to find enough money to open for this ski season. Continuing the eight things that you need to know today, Senator Angus King says he will be endorsing Democratic candidate Emily Kane. She's running for the second district congressional seat against Republican Bruce Poliquin. Be sure to tune in tonight at 5.30. News 8's political reporter Paul Merrill sits down one-on-one -on -one with Emily Kane. Right now, doctors are contacting anyone who may have been exposed to an Ebola patient in Dallas while he was showing symptoms. The Centers for Disease Control says the man traveled to the United States from Liberia about two weeks ago but didn't show symptoms right away. Maine CDC Director Dr. Sheila Panette says the state is prepared, but there is no reason to worry about an outbreak here. Toyota is recalling 690,000 Tacoma pickup trucks to fix a problem with the rear suspension. The recall applies to Tacoma 4x4 and Tacoma pre-runner trucks from 2005 to 2011. Finally, this morning, going pink for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, the American Cancer Society will hold its annual Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk on Sunday, October 19th, this year at Fort Williams in Cape Elizabeth. The CDC says mammograms are the best way to detect breast cancer early. One in nine women in the United States are diagnosed.